I am from the great state of Minnesota, which is located in the middle of the United States and shares its northern border with Canada. Because Minnesota is as far away from the ocean as the middle of Siberia and quite far north, we have very hot summers and very, very cold winters. Temperatures can range from 46 degrees Celsius in the summer to minus 51 degrees in the winter. Despite the extreme weather, we Minnesotans love to be outside. During the summer, we go canoeing, camping, biking, and swimming. And then the winter, we can have a meter or more of snow on the ground, so we like to go sledding, cross-country skiing, as well as play a Canadian sport called broom ball. We especially enjoy activities on or near water. The slogan for our state is the land of 10,000 lakes. And while we aren't near the ocean, our lakes provide more shoreline than California, Hawaii, and Florida combined. These lakes were actually formed millions of years ago by huge glaciers scraping the region's landscape. But we Minnesotans like to tell the legend of Paul Bunyan, a giant lumberjack whose enormous footsteps formed the lakes while he wandered around lost in a blinding snowstorm with his pet ox, Babe. The large number of lakes in our state plays an important role for the people and history of Minnesota. The state's name itself comes from the American Indian tribes who lived there. Minnesota translates from the Dakota language as sky-tinted or sky-colored water. These tribes hunted and fished along the lakes, and some of their most important activities and ways of life still influence Minnesotans today. For example, tribes harvested wild rice from northern lakes, drilled holes in the ice to go fishing in winter, as well as collected sap from maple trees to make syrup. When I was growing up, my family always made wild rice soup throughout the winter to keep us warm. Fish fries are also common social gatherings in Minnesota. Because Minnesota is heavily forested in the north, more than half of Minnesota's population lives in or around the Twin Cities down in the south. The term Twin refers to both the state capital, St. Paul, and its sister city, Minneapolis. Both cities are along the Mississippi River. For many years, the two cities were bitter rivals, and as a result, all of our sports teams today, like the Minnesota Twins, Vikings, and Timberwolves, have to be Minnesotan and cannot be named for either city. Historically, both cities were settled by different immigrant groups from Europe. Swedes, Norwegians, and Finns influenced the development of Minneapolis. Today, the city appears much more modern with huge skyscrapers, famous music halls, and an abundance of theaters. St. Paul, on the other hand, was settled by German, Irish, and French immigrants. It has remained much more traditional with late Victorian-era European-looking architecture. Now that you know more about Minnesota, come and discover it yourself. Whether you love exploring the great outdoors on your bike and in your canoe, or if you prefer visiting art museums and attending orchestra concerts, there's something for everyone here. You know you've arrived when you hear the friendly Minnesotan exclamations Ufta and Yashur Yabetcha. Yeah, sure,